Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats. Ah, uh, yes. What the hell is this? <laughs> well, quite frankly, it's been New Amp Week. That thing, <laughs> this thing is absolutely incredible. This is the Friedman Phil X signature amp. 100 watts of Friedman loveliness with a kind of Phil X twist. Why the hell have we bought this? Because it's awesome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, of course, uh, as you, I'm sure, well know out there at the moment, Paul and I are working our way through the amps of the world, creating capture packs for not only Tonex these days, but also for Quad Cortex, which is very exciting. Soon to be, I think you should go and get a Kemper as well. I think you should get a Kemper. I think... And then we can do for Kemper as well. We should. Because um, I like doing it. Yeah. I like doing it. And it's nice capturing these things. Um, this mm. was one of those, we had a chat. And um, we pulled resources, didn't we? We did. We stuck our money together. Because this is quite an unusual amp. It, well, it is. Or a, a, It's an amp you don't see around very much. It's quite a rare beast. It's um, a rare beast. It's pretty straightforward. It's a single channel amp with dual master volume. Now, what that means we'll come on to in a second. But actually, the actual layout of the amp is pretty straightforward. We've got a gain switch, a three-way gain switch, um, between some gain a bit more gain, quite a lot of gain. It's like gain, gain, gain! <laughs> <laughs> the gain pot, the two master volumes, then we've got treble, mid and bass. We then have a voltage control. Uh, think of plus, like plus and minus voltage. It's kind of like the Variac control, um, the rectifier control, between spongy and very attacky. Then we've got a presence, standby and power. Very straightforward amp. It's got, but, yeah, it has got the normal um, Friedman effects loop on the back with yep. the great sort of Friedman effects loop. But I would say this is like the best Marshall sound I've ever it's, heard. It's absolutely incredible. So, so let's demonstrate first of all, because this is the first amp that I think does this, this well, because this is the first amp that I think does this, this well, which is the actual dynamics between the guitar and the amp. So what that means is, as I played in the intro, if you, go to the neck pickup on this or bring down your volume. I've never known an amp be that responsive to a guitar. That's ever, ever, ever. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. So you're meant to play this amp through your guitar. So think of it like an old plexi or whatever, but this responds in a much more responsive way. Mm. It's way more responsive. So um, yeah, the, the two, you know, you know we've, we've got a, a pretty basic three, three way EQ, as you'd expect. The two controls that make this special, if you like, are this three way, gain switch and the voltage at the moment we are on low voltage the the spongy kind of oh, we? oh yeah okay. old school version if yeah. i if i click that into give us a chord it's a little bit brighter a little bit more attacky <laughs> Subtle at best. I Subtle at best. I think it's probably something that you feel rather than you hear. Yes. Perhaps. Perhaps. Um, however, the gain switch is a very different beast. In the middle, we've got full tilt, full on um, Friedman B. B. Yeah. <laughs> You get all of that, all of that great sort of attack, pick attack. Inappropriate guitar to be playing that on. But what I think is funny is, although I've got a Freeman BE, <clears throat> and so I picked this up yesterday and was able to sort of AB the two, mm. it doesn't sound like the BE. It's got the same gain, but it hasn't got the same tone. 
I, I, this is way more martially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way more. It's um, way more. If I go to martial. the right. So your classic sort of. Great, you can play really big chords and it still stays. So, from having full Phil X ah, beans, it's not all about. There you go. <laughs> What? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, it's fine. Gone. Three, <laughs> two. So, this amp is not just about full on Phil X ah, beans. If you do this and put it into one of the lower gain modes. Go even further. It's still quite distorted. Bring it back even further. See, this is what happens. So now, because we brought the game back, mm -hmm. it's thinning out. Yeah. It's not designed to be there. No, it's but that's the whole thing. <laughs> it's, it's meant to be driven from your guitar. So yeah. if you want a clean tone, you get that from your guitar. If you want a, a you know distorted tone, you just you, you crank up your volume, which I think is. It's such a great skill for guitarists to learn anyway. Mm. I remember one of my first bands, mm. um, me trying to convince the guitar player that he could clean up the tone by winding back the volume. He's like, no, it doesn't work like that. I need to have pedals. I said, no, it doesn't. You do. You don't have to do everything from the amp. These controls are here for a reason. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yes, it sounds great at full tilt there. get a great clean tone. That's a better clean tone that than the gain all the way down by a, by a country mile. I love it, that's great. And then you can wind it up and give it the full bend. So raspy. It's got it's really great. Yeah. And you could, and you could do that from a volume pedal, couldn't you? Into the front of your amp. You don't have to do it from the guitar. I guess you could. I guess you could. Yeah. I, and I don't know what the implications of are impedance and mm. that sort of stuff. But maybe yes, there is a volume pedal that does that. If there is a volume pedal that does that, let us know. Please right? let us know. Yeah, yeah. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> It's just the most articulate distortion sound of any amp. It's brilliant. I think I've ever played through. It's absolutely brilliant. It's awesome. Now, it's a one channel amp, which kind of suggests studio amp, other than the addition of this baby. Can I uh, say, I think this is where they messed up. Really? Yeah. Go on, go on, you t uh, tell them what it is and I'll... And so, th this, this ear foot switch allows you to switch between volume one, master volume one and master volume two. So, for example, at the moment we are on master volume one. Um, if I hit that. <laughs> and 
And Mr. X explains this as a solo boost. Yeah. Solo volume boost for live. Um, now, while that's brilliant... I think, well, I think they've messed up on that. I think they should have had a gain boost on there as well. I think what they should have done, instead of that, or maybe as well as that, because this is, this is an expensive amp, mm. I think they should have had that, and also a way to be able to switch between the different gain stages. Yeah, that would have been cool, wouldn't it? Like, a three-way... Yeah, almost like so you've got your rhythm sound, then you've got your lead sound, and then you've got your boost. Yeah. Just like a, a three-pedal... But Mr. X did not require this of his amp. Well, and... He's far more of esteemed playability than, than, than we is. <laughs> than us mere mortals. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. He can I, have what he wants. I think this thing's great. I mean, the EQ, it was explained to me as being quite vanilla, but I actually think there's quite a lot of, there's quite a lot of control in there. If I, I'll, I'll have a play. Damp to play through. Really? Yeah. As in, it shows up a lot of. Oh, I, I had all of my faults. I had a lot of fun playing through this yesterday. Um, but well, you haven't got any faults, mate. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the funniest thing that's, you've ever said on yeah. video. Um, I think this thing's awesome, and the captures are going to be absolutely monstrous. They are going to be monstrous. So if you want to uh, keep your eye on the captures, they'll be available on our website and also available on ToneNet, which is IK Multimedia's file sharing platform and uh, for Quad Cortex it will also be available on our website. TheStudioRats.net TheStudioRats.net I'll leave all the details in the notes below. So really hope you guys got something out of that. If you did get something out of it don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul. I'm James. And we'll see you next time.